guys, Rich here. This is Brickscene bringing you another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we're looking at set number 75291. It is the Death Star Final Duel. So set number 75291. Now this is an update of set number 75093. I didn't pick that one up because at the time I just bought the Death Star and I really didn't think it was worth buying you know the throne room that goes along with the Death Star when you're pretty much getting that with the Death Star itself but now this new one has come out it's interested me so I went and picked it up 775 pieces you get five minifigs now this is going to cost you a hundred US dollars 90 Great British pounds or down here in New Zealand it's going to cost you 190 New Zealand dollars let's get straight into the review Okay, so here it is, the completed model. Now look, it didn't take too long to build, it probably took me a couple of hours, there was nothing too difficult about it, I must say. Um, it came together quite nicely, I, I was happy with the build, it kept me, you know, it was a, it was a satisfying build to be honest. Uh, but look, let's get into some of the details anyway, well we'll start down here with the entranceway. I think there's been quite a few improvements between this one and the last version of this set. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a little bit more of an elaborate uh, entrance, if you like, um, with the statue there and of course that gold uh, trophy there as well. I understand those are taken from some of the reference pictures that they used to come up with this model. Uh, some of the concept art uh, from the films themselves uh, but yes it's a little bit more elaborate there's a lot of that uh, dark red going on there I like uh, the use of those ice skate uh, pieces there on each side of the doors so to open the doors it's a case of pulling these levers on either side uh, there's no mechanism to have them both open at the same time unfortunately but hey that's fine you just pull them open and you just push them closed like that Right now, so before we go any further, what I've done is I've closed the set up. It can all be closed up in such a way that it's a much more compact set. Uh, the sides will close in and clip to the, uh, the front section, which retracts. Now, what I'm going to do is open it up and show how it all happens. So what you do is you pull each side out like that, and then you can actually slide the, uh, the walkway forward uh, for the entrance. So it becomes, like it was before, a much bigger set. So now if we come through that entranceway, we've got the tiled walkway leading to the staircase that goes up towards that throne. Uh, there's another play feature here. There's a little lever on the side there. If you push that down, that pops a couple of the steps off there. So pretty cool. Now I'm going to come out to the right hand side as we look at it first. Uh, this side has got a couple of little walkways with the, uh, the railings on either side. Play feature here is the, uh, the walkway can be knocked knocked down so if you just push that in there um, that basically collapses that down what I like here is they've used that trans red piece uh, down the bottom there uh, to show where the the lightsaber would have gone through that support beam now another play feature they have in here is this little lever that launches Luke Skywalker so I've put him in there what you do is you push down this one here Not normally further than that but he's onto that level this time pretty neat little feature actually I quite like that one yeah we'll give him another go eh I launched them a bit further that time. Now on this side we have that opening that heads on down to the reactor shaft. It's just a couple of stickers on the outside uh, sort of mimicking some of that lighting that they have throughout the Death Star and the railings on the top there uh, with the opening to chuck your Emperor down. And it's a little bit difficult to see but there's a couple of stickers in there just to give some more detailing, some texture of the inside of that shaft. So coming into the centre section now and having a look at the throne first of all, uh, you've got a couple of little panels on, on the side there with some stickers uh, and you've got a couple of clips there to hold, uh, one of, obviously to hold Luke's lightsaber hilt. Uh, turning it around to the back you can see that we've got another clip on the back there and that holds uh, Palpatine's gold hilted lightsaber. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at the minifigs of course in a second. So just having a look at these panels on either side, you've got some uh, printing and some readouts there of the Death Star. There's some text there which I understand reads shield active, I think, if, that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but look, one on either side, uh, just a couple of stickers, but necessary. Um, there's a few stickers in this set, but not nothing, nothing too major, I don't think. I think the stickers that are on there are necessary to the set and they add some great detail. And there's just a bit of a better shot of the printing on the uh, control panels on the Emperor's throne itself. 
uh, and the uh, the panel on the side too. But it's a nice looking throne area. But I'm even liking you know these control stations on either side. The de you know the way they've got that. I think the design of those uh, is right. Not too many stickers like I was saying. A couple more there on the back of the entranceway. So we'll just turn the set around and have a look at it from the back. You can see those printed uh, canopy pieces that you know they've used those now in a couple of sets. They're the same ones as the old. Uh, Final Jewel set as well as the Death Star. Uh, look, there's enough detail there, nothing too wild, but enough to keep me happy. That was a decent little build. Uh, the center section, interestingly, comes completely out uh, in order to give you the space there to carry on your jewel between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker down below. There's also a couple of clips in there to hold the Emperor's lightning bolts uh, when he's not using them and also uh, if you feel the need to take his cape off there's a hook to hang it on to. Okay so let's get into the minifigs. We'll start with Luke Skywalker. It's going to be easy because he is exactly the same as the one that we got with the last final jewel. Same face, same hair, same torso, same legs. Look it's a nice looking minifig. Probably a bit simple for minifigs these days. It would have been nice to see uh, maybe a bit more printing maybe an updated hair piece but nothing we can do about it uh, so just turning him around there you can see the reverse side another print on the back of their head there mine is not centered another reason not to be happy with this look but look fairly simple printing like i say next up is an all new darth vader this one's got some great printing uh, first time we've had arm printing for darth vader as well the printing going from the torso right down through into the legs looks great it's all lined up nicely the helmet is the same as recent ones but i believe the face print is new as well so there he is with his helmet removed i do like the face printing on this one it's very well done so just turning him around there you can see the uh, scars on the back we don't get a second face print of course but you can see the scars on the back of his head and i've just pulled the cape up there so you can get a better look at that arm printing as well as the printing on the back of the torso as i said before it's nice to get some printing on darth vader's arms this is definitely the best one they've done to date now on to emperor palpatine he gets that new hood piece great looking face there very angry looking face nice printing again on the torso that's carried all the way down into the legs i'm liking the use of that coloring they're using with the head and the hands there and also i'm loving the fact that we're getting a gold hilted lightsaber with them as well so just turning them around there so you can see the alternate face a bit more calm uh, than the other one and there's no printing on the back of the torso on this one unfortunately but no biggie no biggie and there he is holding his lightning bolt pieces as well. It's a great figure actually, it's a great figure, I do quite like this one. And finally we have our Imperial Royal Guards. These were always a favourite of mine. I like what they've done with this one. It's exactly the same as previous versions with the dark red on the inside of the cape as well as those dark red arms and the bright red everywhere else. A little bit of detailing on the front of the torso there. There is of course no uh, face print at all and there's no detailing on the back. There's no more printing on the rear of the torso or anything like that neither. So fairly simple in design but a nice looking minifig anyway. So in conclusion, would I buy it again? Uh, probably. I'd probably buy this version again. If I had the old version, I wouldn't be buying this version. You know, it's it's a decent set. Good amount of minifigs, good amount of pieces, a lot going on as far as detail. Uh, it's quite nice to display. It's a shame that we didn't have updates to some of those minifigs, in particular Luke. I would have liked to have seen a new Luke with this one, but that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. 189 New Zealand dollars, 99 US, 90 dollars, uh, 90 pounds, sorry. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. But, you know, there's going to be the completionists out there that are going to want this one, even if they do have the old one as well. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you very much for checking it out. If you do like this sort of content, please consider subscribing. We really appreciate it. As I said, thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one.